Hey everyone, welcome, glad you're here. My name is Stephanie, this is my channel. I'm known around most social media platforms as Honestly Mommy, so you can come find me on Instagram. I'm on there daily sharing silly stories. But anyhow, today's YouTube video is about how I found out about my surprise uh, fourth pregnancy. It was a complete shock to me. Um, we were not trying to get pregnant and um, we hadn't actually even talked about getting pregnant. Um, so this footage is really, really raw uh, and emotional. Before we dive into today's video, I just wanted to share that and let you know that if you have recently experienced a miscarriage or maybe you're struggling to conceive, this might not be the best video for you because I am really, really honest and again, raw about um, all of my thoughts and feelings surrounding this fourth pregnancy. And like when I found out, um, it was completely shocking for me. Uh, and so in this video, I'm verbally processing through some of it before I take the pregnancy test and afterwards. Um, and I just wanted to let people know that ahead of time because I'm aware that a video like this, depending on where you're at in your life, could actually stir up um, some negative emotions and that's really not my um, goal, obviously, or my focus for this video. I want to share with you where I'm at in life, um, also some of the emotions behind finding out you're pregnant. This is actually my fifth pregnancy. Um, the four others were all planned, one of which ended in a miscarriage between Cece and Aurora. So it completely caught me off guard with a lot of the emotions that I wrestled with and struggled through um, just in the difference of having a planned pregnancy and an unplanned pregnancy that came as a surprise. Um, when you're going through surprise and shock and you know, your mind's trying to catch up to the fact that you're pregnant, I just, there were so many new and different emotions that I'd never experienced before. And when I shared a little bit of that on my Instagram page, um, I had an overwhelming response um, from women who'd gone through similar things um, and kind of felt like they were alone in that, which was what uh, led me to want to share this with you. Also, after I did some research, I found out that over 50% of pregnancies in the United States are surprises, are unplanned, which is, that blew my mind. Um, I had no idea that so many women go through this. So I just want to be able to share a little bit more of my journey with you, but also prepare you that what you're about to see is very, very raw and real. Um, I'm not making any of this up. This all was filmed on the day that I finally decided to take the pregnancy test. Um, it's really emotional. So if you aren't quite in the place that you think that that would be helpful for where you're at right now in your own heart and emotions, um, please just know that this probably isn't the right video for you. Otherwise, Let's dive in and uh, probably get out the tissues because I cried putting this together. It's pretty emotional. All right, so here's where I'm at. Um, I'm three days late, five days late. Doesn't even, I mean, it just, it doesn't even matter. <laughs> I've been late four times in my life ever. Number one was Zeke, number two was Cece, number three was a miscarriage, and number four was Aurora. Basically, you know, any of those times that I was um, trying to get pregnant or hoping to get pregnant, I just knew if I made it to the end of the day that I was expecting my period on, like I was pregnant, if I made it to the end of the day without getting my period, it was like, ooh, like, that was it, and then I made it to the end of the day, and I'm still in denial, going, no, maybe I'm just, maybe I really am late. I mean, I had all the symptoms, I had no, I had no inkling whatsoever that this was even an, a possibility. <sighs> I think the hard part is, um, it makes me feel ungrateful and it just makes me feel weird. It makes me feel weird. 
So basically at this point I'm beyond knowing. I mean, I know I'm just in denial, which seems ridiculous because, I mean, I don't, I don't know what other reason there would be. Actually, it'd probably be a scarier reason. You know, like, I guess I don't know why I am in denial either, besides the fact that Aurora is only 10 months, and, um, <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty sure Jeremy was ready to be done. We talked about being done, and I don't know, I kind of went back and forth on like, I don't know, are we done? Do we really feel done? Like, it seems sad to just be done, but, you know, at some point, you stop having babies, right? I don't know whether you make the decision or it just kind of happens or, well, <laughs> I think we have our own answer. It's just crazy because this would be the closest together any of my kids are. Oh my gosh, that just made it more realistic. Um, yeah, usually got pregnant around like the year and a half mark or so, you know, where they're like just over two years apart. Or we're just turned 10 months and like, whew. <laughs> Just wasn't expecting this. Never had that happen before. I mean, I don't even know why I'm having such a hard time wrapping my head around it. I think it's mainly just because it wasn't planned, which hasn't happened before. It sounds so dumb, it sounds so dumb, but you know, sometimes when you're in shock or surprised, it just takes a little bit longer for you to catch up with what's going on and yeah I haven't told anyone obviously is that obvious I don't know kind of wanted to blurt it out a couple of times just because I'm not 100% sure <laughs> how Jeremy's gonna take it and then of course everyone's gonna be really really surprised really surprised because this is a lot faster than we were thinking and I think we've said a couple of times that we were done <laughs> so um just kidding. Yeah, I've just never, I've never had these feelings before when faced with being pregnant and even just saying it out loud is like, oh my gosh, that makes it so much more real. The hard part for me is I don't totally feel ready. I mean, like, I don't even want to admit that to myself. I don't want to say that. I've just been bouncing around in my head, and I keep being like, no. Like, I would have liked a little bit more time to bounce back, to, you know, adjust to our new normal. I would have liked a little more time if we even decided to get pregnant again. And it seems really dumb to go take a pregnancy test because I basically already know. And I say basically, but I'm like, I've never been late. Never. I'm not one of those people. I'm always regular. If it doesn't happen on the day I'm expecting it, it happens before. It never happens after. Never. Those have resulted in babies. <laughs> Every time. So, at this point, I'm only, you know, making it real. Just taking what I know in my head and giving myself proof that it's actually real. I'm going to make it real. Luckily, I think I have a extra pregnancy test left over from Aurora, so it shouldn't be expired. <sighs> or maybe, I don't know. Guess we're going to go find out. All right, let's get this show on the road, shall we? Gonna go find ourselves a pregnancy test. Pretty positive I still have one, or like, no, I'm positive I still have one as long as I didn't throw it away when we were moving, and I don't think I did. So, let's find it. I think it might be somewhere in here. 
weird side note, I was actually excited for my period for the first time in, I don't even know how long I got these new things to try, because I'd been seeing them all over the internet, and I was like, okay, I need to try those. So I bought them, you know, in anticipation for my period <laughs> that never happened. I literally had a dream two nights in a row about using these. Weird. <laughs> oh, I hope they uh, don't have an expiration date. All right, well, oh, there it is in the very, very, very <laughs> back of my thing. 2019, 1031. All right, we still got about two months to use this, so we're good. I'm well aware that you're supposed to do pregnancy tests in the morning, because obviously, you know, then your body has enough of the HC, HCD, whatever. The hormone, you know, that tells you that you're pregnant. But, like I said, this is just kind of a precautionary thing at this point, because... I'm never late. Never. This is the fifth time in my life that I have been late. So, I'm going to do it right now at 8.30 at night because... Yep. BRB! Just peed on a stick. <laughs> Always the best part. I'm going to let it sit for a minute or two like a good person. I think you're supposed to wait three minutes or something. I always feel like whenever I take pregnancy tests, you're like, you know, you kind of want to just sit there and stare at it and like wait for something to happen. Put it down, walk away. I'm pretty sure every time I usually put it down, walk away and like, whew, calm down. My heart is, mm-hmm. heart is racing. Now, right now I'm kind of wondering if I should have done this with Jeremy, but I feel like, you know, if I would said, hey, <laughs> I think I might be pregnant, he would just have <laughs> gone, have you taken a pregnancy test yet? And I would have been like, no, and it would be kind of dumb. And... Support would have been good right now. like normal. Normally I set a timer on my phone. <sighs> All right. Let's go read a pee stick. I'm not looking at it. Probably close the toilet lid just so I don't, you know, drop the camera or something. I don't even know why I'm doing this to myself because really it's just, I, I know, I know, I already know. And so I did. <sighs> All right, close your eyes, don't look. Where is it? Right there. That's it. Right there. <laughs> oh.
Sorry for that brief interlude. Um, just needed a minute. So there it is. Big old fat plus sign. Like that's a strong plus sign. Not getting away from that. <laughs> um, like I said, I already knew. I don't know why I was even deluding myself one minute that, yeah, that I might be late, like actually late, you know, because I know some women aren't super regular and they actually, the period does come a couple days late. That's never, ever, ever happened for me. So, you know, <laughs> that is a big old fat plus sign right there. Yes, it, yes sir, it is. <clears throat> I've never felt this way before when I found out that I was pregnant. I don't even know why I'm crying. I'm gonna blame it on the hormones. I just don't feel ready right now. I want it. I want more time with the roar. Just her being the baby. very selfishly want more time for myself not be pregnant. And I hate that they seem like shallow and selfish reasons. Which I think is what's making me upset. expected to feel this way when I found out that I was pregnant. I wasn't sure in my heart if we were done or not when we talked about it before her and after her I just I just told a friend like two weeks ago she asked if we were gonna have more kids and I told her you know I don't know and I kind of go back and forth and it seems so final and <laughs> go figure right thinking of telling Jeremy in some really fun way but I don't know if I can I don't know if I can keep it together long enough to do something I I really would like to call him right now but he is on duty and he's only on the second day of his five days on so part of me So part of me really wants his support right now, but the other part of me doesn't want to distract him. 
because he has a big job. I don't. And you never want anything in the back of their mind that, you know, might distract them from what they're doing when they're out on patrol. So. So I would really like to call him right now, but. But I don't feel like it's the right time. Gotta keep the papa safe too. Just reading those little words makes it so much more. Yep. 